that the media in its myriad forms and platforms is central to the question of democracy. We focus on three principles. Know the media, be the media, change the media. The media is a public resource. It's something that we all share. Unfortunately, if you're talking about the dominant corporate media, they're no better than ever. A lot of voices are left out. A lot of opinions never get heard. Things that are not reported might just as well not exist. And why is that? The corporate media is not driven by a public interest mandate. The media is fired by advertisers and big corporations. If the media covers labor, the environment, gender equality, the media itself, you know all of this. You can have to hear it. But it doesn't. And that's unfortunate. But we together can work on that. In media studies, we've been imagining the world quite differently for a while. We see Occupy Wall Street, we see clear signs of resistance. What we see gathered is a remarkable diversity of people, of ages, of movements, coming together to hear what each other has to say and hear what might be possible in the future. And the idea then is to create a sense of community as a basis for building a movement because governments and corporations are not going to do it on their own. There needs to be a people's movement for change. We can't talk about political change without looking at the media, because without democratic media, every other issue for social change is going to be more difficult. The mainstream media has had a heyday. And that's where I'd like to see some things change. The need for public independent media is greater than ever. You have to intervene in the existing media scape. You need a movement. You need a movement. You need a movement. You need a movement. That's why we have events such as this, because... If we had a say in media, we love to speak about it or make changes. We talk about that a lot. So I say get behind us and ask how you can help us.